In this video, I'll be reviewing the Redrig V35 budget camera slider. What is up guys, David here, and today's video is about my favorite camera slider. The slider is made by a small company called Redrig from Portugal. Their goal is to keep it simple, their design is minimalistic, they come in multiple different sizes. I got the smallest one, which is the 35 centimeter long, that's about 17 inches. You can pick this up in longer sizes, or you can actually put multiple ones together with a little attaching tool. Now the slider doesn't come with legs, you have to buy those separately and they are a little bit costly. In my opinion, they cost $40 just for the legs. The slider itself starts from $89.99 and it goes up if you pick the longer versions. The bottom of the slider has a standard tripod mount where you can screw in a quick release plate, for example. It does have both screw holes on the bottom. The carriage has only one screw on the top, the quarter 20, so if you have a head that takes the larger screw, you need an adapter, which is unfortunately not included in the box. It is a small piece, I think that should have been part of the kit. The slider is made of aluminum, uh, one piece, and it comes in only black color. The carriage has four wheels that are hard plastic, each have two bearings in it, and they are adjustable. You guys can check out the slider in action in my previous videos, but I'm going to include a couple of clips right now, so you guys can see what I was able to do with this slider. There's a locking screw in the middle of the plate that lets you lock the camera so it doesn't move if you leave it alone. The legs have rubber feet on them and they have a big large thumb screw on the top where you can adjust the height. And there's also a locking screw on the bottom. The quality is great but I still think that the price of the legs could be cheaper considering how simple they are. Mounting a ball head or a video head on the slider is really easy. I personally use a Benro head that takes the larger screw, so I have to have an adapter that I can screw on the plate, and then I can grab my video head and screw it on to the plate itself. The plate is quite large, so the head does not overhang or anything, which is, I think it's a good deal. This is it for today's video, check the description down below for more information. If you like this video, click the thumbs up down below and subscribe if you want to see my future videos. Thank you guys for watching, see you guys later.